All right, guys, make sure to smash me a like, and you guys can enter a chance to win a free K10 gaming keyboard. It is water resistant, multi function, USB 2.0, and has multi colored. Make sure to leave a like and drop a comment below, and you can win this free gaming keyboard. All right, so welcome back to the channel. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment. So I was doing some test benching today, and I thought, you know, what would be some good things? So Nova Bench right here. Go to personal use, hit download, bring up that window. As soon as you do that, it's going to take you to another screen. That screen will immediately start to run the benchmarks. Thank you guys for tuning in. I do appreciate y'all. So as you can see, it's going to go ahead and it's going to run the benchmark as you see it in front of you. Um, once it's done, it will give you the results. Now this is called NovaBench.com. This is a very cool, um, it tests everything. Um, it also tells you what you're running and then it will give you a final score. Like I got a 1712 CPU score. 32 gigs of RAM, got a 307, which I don't know if those scores are good or not. Well, we'll have to compare them, which you can compare these to the next page, which is really cool. But my total score was a 2945. So if you guys want to do this yourself, find out if your computer is performing the way you want it, then do it. And then on this page, you can see here, there's my score and everything, and then I can register it and uh, you know go from there if I want to save it and do some other stuff um, also guys make sure if y'all want to enter the win that keyboard you go to the other video the K Dragon K55 video and you leave a comment and a like and here in a few days we are going to do a uh, drawing for that but uh, this is Nova Bench it's kind of a cool basic uh, test mark it is free so, you know, nothing wrong with that. I like how it tells me everything that I got. 8 core, GTX 1070, Windows 10. Um, I would have to log in and register and able to see what those scores are compared to. But yeah, that's that's Nova Bench. You know, you can just kind of check out all this stuff up here and stuff like that. But yep. <clears throat> and then this is like the results of their database. Um, this is where you can go and compare similar builds to your builds So if you guys want to check that out do that also while you're on the internet You might as well go to Facebook and go to our a tech PCs group page and join our group You might as well right you're there do it. So the next Program that I was using is this Passmark software. Let me tell you what the OBS program was crashing in the middle of this. I couldn't run um, OBS and I couldn't run voice recorder. I'm actually, what I did is this one is I had to go back through and redub my voice back over the original video, which is, that's not what I wanted to do, but that was the only way that I could have done it. Okay, so we just go in here and we hit run. This right here is pretty cool. This is the, uh, some of the footage that it was doing. And I thought this was cool because it was like a starship. Um, battle uh, as you can see right now we're doing an average frame rate of 40 frames right here on this test um, some of the other tests that I was hitting I was getting at 135 frames like check out this crazy epilepsy right here man this is crazy but I, then again it, it's testing the response rate and the colors and everything else this was definitely a very thorough um, benchmark you can see my temperatures are getting real high, 130. Um, it even increased the temperature inside of the uh, of the PC. Yeah, if you guys have epilepsy, I wouldn't recommend um, Passmark 3D Benchmark. Um, as you can see, I got MSI Afterburner because I've been tweaking the graphics card, um, increasing it, trying to make it faster and faster. Um, to the left, those were my original scores. Uh, you can see it right here, memory right, available RAM, and then I'll do a memory latency test. I mean, I was very impressed by the, by the amount of thorough that went through the test. I mean, it was really cool. Um, and it's free. So you definitely want to do some free Passmark, Dismark, 3D benchmarking. 
because I like our freeness. You know what I mean? So it kind of gives you like this you versus the world scale, which is pretty cool. I'll show you guys that here in a few minutes. Um, you can see my CPU or my GPU temperature is starting to drop. That's because we're not we're not running those crazy graphics in the back. Let's see here, 78.8 Fahrenheit. That's really warm considering that I keep that case in the 30s. So, or I'm sorry, not the 30s, the 60s, um, low 50s, and it's it's in the 80s. I'd hate to think what the CPU is. Yeah, you guys need to check this out. This is pretty cool. Uh, there's my final rating, 4,096. See if y'all can beat that. I got a Ryzen 7 2700X, 32 gigs of Trident Z, and then a GTX 1070 8 gig. And to hold all that together, we have a Strix 450B gaming motherboard. And yes, everything is overclocked. So this is the little like needle gauge I was showing you guys. See, if you like scoring the red, you suck. If you score in the brown, you're okay. But if you get in the green, like you're doing, you're doing good. You got a good fast performing computer so you know this is a good way to find out if your computer you know is doing good if you're up to par you know comparing you to other people those are my scores I need to look into it and see if those scores are good or bad I think a 4000 on on pass mark I think that's a good score um, thread rippers pull like a 7 or an 8 so I would expect at least do half of that but yeah y'all need to check this out it's called Passmark, and it's a free benchmark that you guys can check out. So, leave me a like. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.